it's been fantastic. Obviously, it's it's great to get this group of players together for a concerted period of time. We've had probably nine sessions in total over the course of three and a half days. I think we saw the quality of the players that we've got on the pitch today, and we're really enthused and excited about the prospects of the week's time. Oh, look, I think it'd be unfair for me to comment on what's happened previous. I wasn't part of that regime, so uh, all I can say is what we've tried to bring as a coaching group to, uh, um, to, to, the, to the England setup. I think we brought a lot of clarity and a lot of direction in terms of what we're trying to do, and uh, hopefully a lot of energy as well. We'll talk about the pack. Well, obviously, um, at least in this press conference on Monday, that uh, making the English pack one of the best in the world is one of his key objectives now that he's head coach. Part of your role is going to be that, of course. Um, at the Saracens, you have the Wolf Pack, uh, famous for your defence, fantastic defensive team. How do you bring that uh, that structure to, to the England team now? Well, look, in, in terms of all those sort of aspects, in terms of forward dominance, in terms of defensive dominance, it all comes down to creating good identity as a group of players. So we've put a lot of responsibility with the players about what they want to be known as, what they want to be respected as. We've spoken a lot about that this week and we'll continue to do that moving forward. I think to try and throw a, a, a term or a branding, if you like, on a, on a team doesn't just happen. It should happen organically, it should happen naturally, and it should come from within. So as and when those sort of things happen, the boys will come with, I'm sure. Talking about the pack, who are you looking at in that pack to be your leader? Yeah, I mean, both in terms of a, a strong forward pack and defensive dominance, we're looking for all of them to make a difference. The starting eight, the you know, the bench to come on and make a big difference as well. So clearly in defence, you know, your six and sevens are big players in that area. So those are the sort of guys we've asked for responsibility and with the man responsibility for as well. Usual in all aspects of play, you know, he's a, a, an unbelievably good rugby player in attack and in defence. He's brave, he's fearless, he's energetic, he brings a lot to the team in all aspects, so you no know, one's got a big future with England. No, not at all. They've all come in enthused, they're all excited, a little bit nervous, a bit of trepidation sort of first couple of days. We weren't quite sure what to expect. They've obviously heard a few stories about how Eddie operates, how other coaches operate and so on. So it's a bit of nervousness, which is quite nice. Uh, as the week's gone on, everyone sort of settled into their own skin, settled into the groups. And I think they've really enjoyed training, yeah. And how's Gillen stepped up the role as captain? It's been great, you know. He's had a lot of support from all the boys. Uh, likewise, Chris Robshaw, you know, has been fantastic in that area. And I think it was nice for me to see from the outside, obviously not knowing Chris personally prior to this, the, the high esteem the rest of the team held him in and, and the great job that he did do, a great servant as captain of English rugby. Is that going to be a tough dynamic to manage with the previous captains of the part of the part of the score? Not in the evidence that I've seen. They're very supportive of each other, you know, they're good mates, uh, they worked well together. And there's not just obviously uh, Chris there as well, there's other experienced internationals. Like we said, Dan Cole's got a lot of caps, Mike Brown, Owen Farrell. You know, all these sort of guys have got a lot of caps together now and they all require to lead this team. How important is it for the thing to get off to the start of the game? Well, I think Eddie said, you know, we're going to there to win, you know, we've made no bones about that. That's obviously Test Match Rugby, that's a week by week basis, you know, all our focus is going to be on Scotland. Uh, this week's been a lot about ourselves, about our own principles, our own sort of style of attack, how we want to defend, our own set piece. Next week we'll be fully focused on Scotland. And, uh they go on, win against Scotland, how important would it be for us to win six nations that would have to be maybe a bridge too far in the well, look, yeah, of course, I mean, that's the aim, you know, what's the point of entering a competition if you don't want to win it? Um, you know, I think our focus has to be on Scotland, then we move our attention to the next game, then we move our attention to the next game, the next game, and so on. If you look too far ahead, you'll trip up along the way. So, uh, our focus on Scotland, week on Monday, I'll start turning our attention towards Italy. So, what's the move been like in, in the camp since the World Cup? Obviously, some people have disappointed campaign, I suppose, for the England team. Are you noticing that amongst the players? Is everyone sort of confident and ready now? Absolutely, you know, I think, you know, obviously the start of the Premiership campaign has been brilliant. A lot of teams performed very well, a lot of teams performed very well in Europe as well. You can see obviously in the Champions Cup the presence of English teams in that sort of last stages now. So boys are coming in on a bit of a high. Uh, the pump, they're excited, as I said, the change of the coaching group gives a different dynamic to them now as well. So they've got a fresh opportunity to impress, a fresh opportunity to try and go up to Scotland and get good results.